And then the last thing that I mentioned is performance improvements. Uh, you will see some uh, additional performance improvements when working in 2D in AutoCAD and the uh, visual control. So the, the graphic performance dialog box has been enhanced to provide you even more granularity in terms of the settings that you can apply to control the graphic performance. Although if you just take the defaults out of the box, it appears to be working very, very well. And then there's also considerable performance improvement when working in 2D, when uh, plotting or looking at a plot preview, and when navigating in 3D. So this is just Autodesk going through the database and figuring out how to extract better performance when you're working with AutoCAD. Of course, in AutoCAD 2018, that process was, uh, was done in large part because Autodesk changed the DWG file format uh, with 2018. So 2018 is a different file format than what you had in 2014, 15, 16, and 17. The file format has not changed for AutoCAD 2019. It is now still using the same file format as in 2018. And in fact, it's worth noting that all of the improvements that I've just noted, the drawing compare, the AutoCAD shared views, the named views as viewports, and the layer property overrides that are being touted as new features in AutoCAD 2019 were actually added to the 2018.1 release. So if you are on subscription, and I assume if you're using AutoCAD 20, if you were using AutoCAD 2018, you were on subscription because that was the only way to get that release of AutoCAD. If you did install the 2018.1 update, you've already seen all of these new features that have now been incorporated and added into AutoCAD 2019. So that, in a nutshell, is what's new in AutoCAD 2019. Uh, over the course of the next few months, of course, I'll be writing uh, about these features in greater detail. In our CAD learning lessons, I have now enhanced the lessons. So when Autodesk starts shipping AutoCAD 2019, you will be able to find lessons that cover all these new enhancements and how to use them to extract the best performance and the best productivity out of AutoCAD 2019. So I hope this proves useful, and I will certainly update you as Autodesk provides information about any new things that they're working on in the software. Thanks for joining us.